Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mai and today's build is one that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. It is the Flower Shop Bookshop Cafe and I am so happy with how it turned out and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It's probably one of my favorite builds I have ever made. And we are starting off with the exterior building in Willow Creek. I did pick a residential neighborhood to build in, but of course you can place it wherever and it's a fairly small lot, so it's probably really easy to place anywhere. And um, yeah, it might even be really cute to put in Henford on Bagley as well. And yeah, the exterior came together really quick. I did use this inspiration photo from Pinterest and if you do want to see kind of where I get my inspiration, I have a whole board um, where I put everything and um, if you're interested, it's pretty much just my username um, that I use here on YouTube. So my plays the Sims and you can find me on Pinterest and, you know, probably even get a sneak peek into what I'm going to be building soon. And just back here, we are making a little greenhouse space because how can you have a flower shop without a greenhouse? And of course, fencing in that backyard um, where I am going to be kind of adding on to the whole cafe thing. And I'm also tiling the front with this really cute tile from, I think it's for rent. And it has this really nice mossy texture, which I am super in love with. And for a brief moment, I do convince myself that the green sliding isn't right, but um, I do come back to it, don't worry. I think it just works so perfectly with that awning and I really love it with those windows too. I also try to change the front door. I don't know what I was thinking because uh, the cottage living ones look so, so nice. Um, I do return to them at the very end. You'll see, um, you'll see a little bit later when I start finishing the interior because you know, I'm nothing if not indecisive but I do always find my way back in the end and it always ends up looking really great. And I feel even prouder of myself because I really know that there's nothing better than this. Um, but I do end up using, I think, all base game windows, um, which I feel like I don't do very often. It's not a style that I, I use, but um, I think most of the exterior actually ends up being a uh, base game, except for um, maybe the that front door. And we are starting off on the interior and I think these bookshelves are just the best thing to ever happen to The Sims. Um, they are from the brand new stuff pack, the Crystal Creations stuff pack. And let me tell you just how much joy it brought me because I had already a few weeks ago started to make um, a bookshop, flower shop, cafe, and I spent like 30 minutes trying to create a bookshelf with a ladder and it obviously wasn't working and I just gave up on that whole idea and then this stuff pack came out and it was like the sims gods were really answering my prayers because these bookshelves are amazing I love them so much and they have so many different swatches they are just my favorite thing ever and um, as you can see I'm very much moving ahead with the furnishing trying to fit in the tables for the cafe portion of this build and um, I'm obviously going to use the Strangerville, or sorry, not Strangerville, the Paranormal Stuff Pack chairs because I use them in every build. And how am I not going to use my favorite chairs in my favorite build? Um, it just wouldn't make sense. So I'm sorry if you are very tired of watching me place those, but I swear it's not my fault. It's this urge is stronger than I am. And um, over here in this kind of like counter area, I use the uh, country kitchen kit counters um, to make the like front desk, or it's not like front desk, um, but yeah, the, the counter and uh, cafe area. Um, but it was kind of interesting because I didn't really know what lot type to place this as because of course um, there were a couple of options. Um, there was the retail lot from the Get to Work expansion there was um, the cafe option from Get Together. And um, I mean, I guess I could also somehow turn this into a restaurant from Dine Out, but that just wouldn't work because the kitchen is just too big. But um, because the cafe option from Get to Work requires this like very specific like cafe counter, it's kind of chunky um, and I didn't really like how it looked. So I ended up placing this as a retail lot, um, but of course you guys can change it um, 
to whatever you want. Um, it might even be cool to place this as a library. Um, but yeah, I just thought the retail option might work a little better. And I also really like the look of the cash register. Um, over here, we're just starting off with a little bit of the greenhouse. Um, I obviously had to place the flower arranging table and um, starting off with a few planters. The planters were a little bit glitchy later on, but um, I fix it all in post-production. So it is all functional. And we are starting off with placing all of the plants. This was very tedious work. Um, I'm so happy with the result. And this is why I had to take like more time to make sure that everything was placed properly. Um, but it looks, it looks so great. And um, I do try to start furnishing the outside, but I didn't really have a vision for it at this time. So um, I just place a few planters and um, also put, I put in some flowers that I got just from the debug menu. And then I later got a sim to come in and plant them all so that, yeah, they're already blooming when you download this. Um, I mean, of course, if you want to grow them yourself, you can just remove that. But um, yeah, I wanted to try and see if I could cover them, um, put a little roof over top. But it is really hard to kind of like mix roofs together in The Sims, uh, especially when you're using a glass roof. So I tried briefly with the awnings and later on in post-production, I figured out a way to do it with the awnings that actually looked nice. And um, yeah, just trying to place some tables. But I think especially what I do here at the beginning is just a little bit overpowering. Um, so don't worry, that's not what we end up with. Um, I just placed, I think, yeah. I think I just place a, I, I just leave this bench um, for the time being and um, move on. But um, yeah, really starting with the plant clutter now. And the way the retail lot works is that you can pretty much set whatever you want for sale um, that's in the room. So if, yeah, if you wanna sell the plants that are kind of there for decoration, if you wanna sell the furniture, I mean, you can even set the tables for sale, the bookshelves. Um, yeah, you can just set that all for sale and people come and they, they buy them. Um, I actually quite like the Get to Work expansion pack. Um, it was the very first expansion pack that came with The Sims 4, but it, um, I don't know, I think it could just be nostalgia and that's why I like it. But um, I just, I do really enjoy a lot of the gameplay. I think it definitely needs, um, definitely needs a, a revamp, kind of like the, the Spa Day, um, Spa Day was a game pack, yeah kind of like the spot a game pack got. And um, yeah, just really starting heavily with the clutter. Um, I clutter with a lot of plants, a lot of books, um, but mostly just a lot of plants. And there is so much life in this room. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I was very, very intimidated by how much I had to clutter this, but I really just put in the time and I did it. And I'm so glad that I did because it looks amazing. And I also place in a cat bowl and a cat bed because I just felt like this place needed a cat. It definitely needs a cat um, or at least a dog. Um, it needs a pet. I feel like adding a cat cafe um, or like the cat cafe component um, it just works. I think in real life, this would actually be a really successful business, um, a flower shop, bookshop, cat cafe. Um, and also just placing some rugs around. I think that they do a great job of framing the place and or like framing the different areas. And um, they also just make this place like that much cozier. And um, I do wanna return to the talk about like the different lot types because um, as you can see in this like counter area, I just have the coffee machine and the tea machine and also a microwave. Um, because since I didn't want to place like that giant coffee counter from get to work or sorry from get together um, yeah I just kind of made it look like a cafe in this way like by just placing these appliances so um, I don't really know how that's gonna work in gameplay I mean for all for all I know you might want to just set those things for sale um, that is also a possibility but um, something you can also do is in Get to Work, they have a kind of like bakery fridge, kind of like you see at like a cafe where um, it's like got the big glass and um, you can just kind of see all the options and you can just bake stuff and put it in this fridge and set that for sale. Um, I've done that in my game before 
and it's really fun to do and um yeah but i didn't want to go like too much and make this like a bakery on top of everything else that you can do in this um facility let's say but of course if you feel up for adding that um i also think that that would be a really cute addition and yeah really starting in putting in that elbow grease to get all these plants on here um, my alt key, I think, needs a break after um, all this clutter that I placed because, oh my gosh, it was it was a lot. Um, but I, it ended up looking so good that I really, I can't complain. Um, and in the greenhouse, a lot of the clutter that I placed ended up interfering with like letting the, the plants, I don't know what it says, it says like germinate or something. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. There's so many words that I learned from The Sims, um, like miscellaneous. Um, but anyways, it wasn't working um, whenever I tried to plant it, so I do end up like fidgeting and moving things around to actually make it all functional, um, but it still looks good. It, nothing looks like wacky or anything. Um, it just might be a little bit more spaced out. And um, yeah, there are so many plants. I don't know why when I was like first looking through the catalog, I was like, there aren't enough plants that look right. and. Slowly but surely I found them, like these ones from Backyard, I think it was a stuff pack, Backyard stuff pack. I have never used this really, um, or very rarely, but um, I don't know, they, they worked in here, which is really great, and I end up placing them a lot. There's also a single version of these right here, and I end up placing those in quite a few places. Um, I just keep saying places. Anyways, I end up putting those in a lot of different areas in this build, and it looks great. And um, yeah, adding some more rugs because how can you not add more rugs? Um, the cozier the better, I think. And we are just finishing off the downstairs now, but if you do like this kind of build um, or this style, I highly recommend that you watch my Dark Academia cottage build because that is the black cat to this golden retriever in every sense of the word. And we are starting off with the upstairs apartment, which is where I imagine the owner lives. And um, in the kitchen, we're just using the appliances from the Dream Home Decorator game pack um, because I really like the way that the stove and the oven are separated. And um, also adding a lot of stuff from the new stuff pack um, from the Crystal Creations stuff pack. And um, how many times can I say stuff? But yeah, I also thought it would be really cute to make this a jewelry store slash crystal store as well because I do think that if we were going to add anything to the description of this property, um, I think Crystal Shop just works really well. And um, with that new like jewelry making table, you can also cut gemstones. So um, yeah, I think that would also be a really cute like addition to the space um, if you cut any, any really cool shapes and place them around. Um, they would look really nice. So yeah, here I am just like also bringing some of that back down to the store. And I really love the swatches in this entire pack. There's, I don't know, there's a lot of like darker ones, but also some delicate ones. So they can really fit in any space and for any personality that you're looking for, which is pretty much my way of saying that I will be putting that table in pretty much every room that I can find, um, any build that I can possibly fit it in because, I don't know, it just, it's really cool and it's a pretty fun hobby to add into the game. And um, yeah, I really like the colors that I picked upstairs. I also really, I, I love this like coffee table. I love the shelves that they have in this stuff pack. Um, I don't know, they just, they're really delicate and um, ornate and I love that desk chair so much. I pretty much just put a desk in here because I wanted to use that desk chair. It just, I don't know, the shape of it is so cool. And I really love this bed that I placed up here too. It's just one from, I think, high school years. And um, yeah, this one's from high school years. But I love how it did have a little bit of the pink that we have in the room, but it also added this very bold green. And just to the left of it, I'm adding a divider because I felt like it would be a little weird to have your head be so like in line with the front door. It would probably be a little uncomfortable. But off of the divider, I'm using plants to kind of like make it cascade down and it looks really nice. And of course, any excuse to add some more plants in this build because I don't think that you're gonna own a plant shop and not have loads of plants in your house as well. And for the curtains, I had a little bit of trouble. I wasn't really sure which ones to use, 
but um, I end up, I'm very surprised with the ones that I ended up choosing because they're these ones from Wedding Stories. And I don't think I've ever really used these because they're just very, I don't know, I just size them down because they're not actually very functional in, in my opinion um, in any other form. But um, yeah, they just had the perfect color. So I'm really glad with how they look. And here in the corner, I also put in another high school years lamp because it also just had the exact swatch that I was looking for. And this apartment actually doesn't have a dresser, which is not really necessary in The Sims, but in my head, I just pretended that this kind of trunk maybe was a little bit of a dresser space. Although now that I think about it, I placed a TV on it, so that wouldn't really be convenient if every time you had to get dressed, you had to move the TV over. But thankfully this is The Sims and uh, logic doesn't really come into play that much. Um, but I really love uh, this little cozy corner that I made with the couch because on this end table I place this tray from Book Nook, which I love and I place everywhere. And then I also put a little teapot and a flower um, vase. And yeah, this area just looks so cozy. It's probably the coziest corner in this entire build, which says a lot because this is probably one of the coziest builds I've ever made. And um, yeah, just obviously having to add a couple more plants around and these shelves. I also place some of the, um, those like busts that are supposed to be like for displaying your creations, I think. Um, I place those around so that you can put your necklaces on it. And yeah, just finishing up here. I kept the hallway like to this place fairly simple. So um, yeah, don't get too excited for that. And of course this bathroom, I was gonna make it pink um, as well, but I realized that I've been making too many pink bathrooms, too much pink anything. Although, can you actually have too much pink? Um, but yeah, when I was thinking about where to place the litter box, I was also very confused. I didn't really know where to fit it. I didn't wanna put it in like the public space, but it felt weird in this hallway and it didn't quite fit in the bathroom. Um, I didn't wanna do just a shower in here. I felt like this was meant for a shower and tub. I felt like the person that lives here deserves a shower tub but um yeah hopefully that's functional i'll have to i'll have to see um i never play tested it so hopefully it is if not you might have to move that around so apologies in advance um but yeah just finishing up here in the kitchen i really love this kitchen space it's quite small but i think very functional and cute i am happy with how it turns out and that's all you can really ask for um, but yeah, up here, just placing a little area to put your shoes. I did realize that um, when you make it like, oh, only shoes inside, that then everybody that comes into the retail store is going to have to change out of their shoes. Um, so let's just pretend that it's actually functioning and um, not just there for decoration. And we are finally in the screenshots, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, this is just the most beautiful, stunning build. There you can see all of the clutter that I added outside. I did do all of my outside like exterior details um, just in post-production because it was a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot of just placing things in a very specific way, um, but you can see it in the screenshots and of course download it on the gallery under my name, My Place The Sims. And yeah, this ends up just looking so beautiful. You can see um, any extra clutter that I've added, especially on the bookshelves. I've added a lot of clutter on the bookshelves. Um, but it just ends up looking so, so beautiful. And even the lighting in here just feels so right. You can see all the clutter that I've added also behind the counter on the shelves there. And I love this shot into the greenhouse. It looks so, so beautiful. And of course, a little bathroom. I don't think that this build could have turned out any more perfect. Um, here you can see that I planted all of the flowers and made them all bloom a little bit so that you have flowers ready to go to decorate around and arrange so that you can sell, of course. And here you can see the outside, everything that I did, just added a couple of plants, um, the little chairs, and a lot of little details, clutter, um, gardening tools because you're going to need those. And uh, this is just the hallway that goes up into the apartment. Very simple. I didn't think it would be too cluttered. And of course, our apartment. It's so cute. It's so pink. Um, it just looks really, really nice. I love that desk area. And I put books um, in the kitchen as well because I imagined that they're recipe books. 
and our little bathroom with the litter box that is hopefully functional. Um, apologies if it's not. And just the last few shots of our apartment up here, which does mean that it is the last few shots of the entire build, really. And our sneaky roof access photo um, where you have the little gem charger. But anyways, our last shot of the build. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Bye buds and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Comment and share with your friends. Talk to y'all soon. Bye!